Hey everyone, it's Laurie, and I'm here to do a love reading, okay? I figured I would do a love reading. Let's go ahead and see what comes out on the Zodiac die. Okay, we've got strong Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, and Cancer. So a lot of water, some air energy there. Libra's front and center, center excuse me, my lovely, lovely Libra's. All right, let's go ahead and just see what kind of a message comes out. I will tell you, I've been trying to do a soulmate reading for two days. And I don't know what's going on, but uh, they were very awful readings. They were not positive in any way, shape, or form, and I could not put those out. All right. Let's just go ahead and see what comes out here. If you are looking for love in any way, type, any form, okay? If romantic, familial love, um, meaning with your family, your siblings, your parents, or co-workers, friends, whatever it is, this reading, if it resonates, it's meant for you. Okay. If you're seeking love, why haven't you found it yet? Hmm. Oh, boy. Here we go again. <laughs> Okay, this is actually a good thing. You have owned your em empress energy. You have found yourself. You have found that you can take care of you yourself. Um, that you can stand on your own two feet. That you have a voice. That you can use it and express to people what it is you want. Okay, now the empress energy here. It's great to own that. But we can't forget that she is in this position because she is receiving also, okay? So she is in a place where she receives love as well as gives it, okay? And what I'm hearing is, is that some of you may have elevated to this status of owning your Empress energy, but you've cut off the crucial part about letting good things come to you, okay? You can now receive all the blessings and bounties that you deserve. Besides, the financial ones, okay? I see a lot of you have gained um, different things, cars, jobs, just being happy, okay? But you've got to have the love aspect there too. Now, I did just get another message too. Some of you are single parents. Male or female does not matter but you're caring for your children and you really don't feel like you have time to focus on finding love. It's not that you don't want it. You just can't focus on finding it. You're not looking, you feel like you're not looking in the right places maybe, or the people you meet just are not, you know, ready to take on the responsibility of children. Okay. All right. So we've got, two different um, messages going here. I'm going to try to combine them and see what we can come up, come up with. All right, what can you do to change that these circumstances? Loosen up a little, okay? So no matter which, we're going to just go with one line here, okay? No matter what your circumstances are, if you can just relax, try to find a way to lighten the mood up, not feel like you have to find somebody to love, okay? You're in a good place here. You, you are the Empress energy. So you do not have to have somebody to complete, complete, complete you. You're whole and complete on your own, but you would like to have somebody to celebrate the fun times in life. Share your bounty. Share your abundance with. And what you have to do is do that. Get back out there and start having some fun, okay? It doesn't have to be about dating. This just has to be about you getting out there and connecting with other people. Opening back up, okay? How might you meet a new love or reconnect with somebody? In fact, I when I flipped the card and saw the Knight of Pentacles, the words were coming out of my mouth about somebody coming back around. Um... Very slow moving energy here, okay? Um, this is supposed to be how you will meet your person, but it it seems like this one is always where, okay? I'm strongly getting that some of you may meet your new person 
in a place of competition. Okay, not not high power cutthroat competition, but a, um, an athletic field, a uh, race track, um, like for horses. Okay, so like I don't know why the Kentucky Derby is coming in my mind. I just heard Kentucky Bourbon. Okay. Um, if you like Kentucky bourbon, this message may be for you or your person may drink bourbon or they might be from Kentucky or maybe you are, or maybe you're going to Kentucky. Okay. Let's see what comes out here. All right. Yeah. See this, this, these two roles have been getting reversed lately. So this is where you will meet your person. I'm also hearing on a train, okay? Because trains take a long time to get to where they're going, but it's a nice leisurely um, way of traveling, and it's a great way of meeting people. So if you're looking for something to do, that is a great thing to do. Hop on a train and go to the next city or go someplace and just enjoy the journey, literally enjoy exploring the train um, maybe checking out the dining car, you know, things like that. That may be where you actually meet your person. I'm also getting a clothing shop. But, oh, it's Halloween time, isn't it? Costumes, that's what's coming through. A masquerade party, low key. Very low key, like um, a themed masquerade party. Could be a live role, live action role playing, cosplay type thing too. Okay. How you will meet your person is by looking into the future, by being like, that's not how it's meant to come out. You're in the present moment waiting for things to, you're waiting for something to happen. Okay, so you're kind of just being in the present moment. You're just enjoying yourself, having some fun. All right. But I've got a sense of somebody's looking out a window, looking at a TV screen. Maybe looking out over a garden. Like I'm getting a, a like a patio with a brick wall, a, a low wall, one that you would sit on. And then there's like a garden beyond that. And it's dark. It's nighttime. And there's music playing in the background. And I think your person will come up behind you and start talking to you. So you're not actively seeking a connection at the point that you will meet this person. And that's, that's usually how it is. You're focused on something else. You're thinking about something else. You're completely in the moment. Just enjoy. And that's what you're doing. You're just enjoying yourself. Okay? You're taking it all in. You're listening to the music, feeling the night air, feeling good. It doesn't have to be at night. Okay? But I'm just talking about how it feels. You're really in the present moment right then. And that's when your person walks up to you. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. How will you recognize them? Oh, they may have, they may be very, if, if you are a female, this person could be very muscular, very well built, okay? But speaks very, very softly. So they could be very tall. I'm getting images of dark um, hair, dark skin, long hair. I'm also hearing a joke about strength. I guess it's not really a joke, but it, it makes everyone kind of like, ha, 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 yeah. And that may be their line that they use to approach you. So it's kind of like an icebreaker. That's what it is. It's an icebreaker. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Other characteristics. Some For some of you, if you're a male, by the way, this is going to be a woman who commands the presence of the room, okay? She walks in. She doesn't even have to say a word. Um, she's going to be very 
all eyes are just going to go on her. And I'm not getting the sense that she's like a knockout beauty, but she has the same effect. Okay, she doesn't even have to speak and people are just like turning their heads to watch her. So she may be somebody of importance. Or she could have a lot of um, control in her environment, like power. She could be somebody of, uh, of importance. And I'm now saying she. This could be either way, male or female. Okay? These are all characteristics. I am getting... Um, I'm hearing an Irish lilt. Like a... a, a a female's Irish voice, okay? That's specific. That's probably just for one or two of you. And I'm hearing it more like it's in the background. So it could be when they approach you. Or it could be somebody else speaking around you. All right, let's see. What should you know about this new person coming in for you? Red flags are important aspects. Oh, wow. King of Swords. Okay, this person, I'm getting a strong sense, is very, very intelligent, has a position of some sort of power. Okay, they're very in control of who they are. Like I said, they're not a loud, uh, out there type of personality. They're more laid back. Um, they could come off as aloof. You know, kind of like this energy here, like all these people are, you know, standing around this person, yet they're focused on something else. That's what this person may be, and that's why you two connect, because you have you share that type of aura, that energy, okay, that you can be amongst all these people and still be a million miles away. And not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. You're just very comfortable. You're you're soaking it all in. Now the other side of this too is this person's used to people doing what they say so they may have a bit of a demanding demeanor without even realizing that that's what they're doing and i really do believe because they are intelligent that if you say hey i'm not one of your subjects um they, they'll be like oh i'm sorry i'm just so used to directing people to do things all day long you know so that is something that you may want to keep an eye out for Let's see how this relationship might go. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you guys see this? This person is your divine counterpart here. Oh my gosh. Balanced, equal, give and take. Okay. This, this relationship is going to be very, very mutual. And this, this is my karma card. So I'm almost... I'm really, really sensing a very strong divine um, divine intervention here to make this happen. But you guys see that? You're going to achieve every goal that you two set out to achieve. You're going to be a power couple, okay? You're going to build a happy home, happy life. You're going to be very successful together. This is incredible. I mean, that is just... <laughs> I love this, and I'm going to leave it shot with the Emperor showing because we have the Empress right here. So that's, that is your a beautiful outcome here. Let's do it this way so we can see. That is gorgeous. I just realized we have four, four, and six here. So we have three, four, two, two threes, three threes. The Empress is three, 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 four, four. Huh. So there's something in those numbers, threes and fours. Threes are about working together, things working very well together, okay? Um, could be groups or just two people. Sixes are about harmony. So that's really nice. Yeah, very nice. Oh, double four. Okay, so it was double four. Stability, being down to earth, r reliable you know, solid foundation. Beautiful. All right, let's move on and see what months might be of some importance. When might you, I'm getting strong right around Halloween. Um, could be at a Halloween party. Could be 
right around, you know, right around that time, okay? All right, so between September and April, oh, this is too funny. I'm hearing that this is Libra energy here, okay? And that this is Aries energy here, Pisces, Aries. So what I'm hearing is that this is you and this is them, okay? But something could happen. I mean, this relationship could, and actually it came out this way, didn't it? April to September. I'm going to hold off on that because I'm, I'm being... Okay, that's what... One message is for the Divine Masculines that are watching this, your person's name will have April letters in it, okay? So it could be like Lyra, Priscilla. It could be April. Now, I know that was pretty specific, but that, uh, that was the message that came through on that. So take it if it resonates. If it doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry about it, okay? They may have a child. I'm getting I'm getting that you or they may have a child um, named that, born in those months. There's something there. that Those two months really mean something. And it's not going to be just one or two of you. It's going to be a bunch of you. Let's see what other characteristics um, we can find out about this person. See, I kept seeing the dark, the dark hair, um, longer hair. And we've got a fair woman or fair man, okay. And th they may be older than you, all right. It doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. But if it is a woman for you, then they're going to be older, okay? Now, they could be a fair-haired man, fair-skinned man or a woman. All right. Let's see what else we can get. <laughs> okay, thank you. There we go. Let's see what the most profitable aspect of being in this relationship is going to be. What is going to be the most important aspect, I should say? I'm hearing right now it's going to be very well balanced. Love. Yes. Yes, definitely. This is a beautiful connection here. Okay. Beautiful connection. All right. We're going to clarify or get some more information here with the Kipper cards. We're just going to see what comes out here. Okay. This will expand our reading here. A privileged lady. Oh, thank you. Okay. So again, this, if this is a, a divine feminine that you are seeking, okay, they're definitely going to be somebody who has a very nice lifestyle. Okay, they enjoy the finer things in life. They do have some sort of control. Um, I just got political. Okay, maybe in a power political position. Congressperson, you know, something along those lines. Okay, what else have you got for us, Spirit? What else would you like to tell us with the Kipper cards here? What else should... The viewers, oh, there's going to be a gift. Look, the Knight of Pentacles is holding a pentacle like a gift. They're coming in with a gift for you. This may be something that they actually do when you meet them. They may offer you, what? this is funny, a glass of wine or champagne or a cocktail, something along those, a bottled water. Okay, it doesn't matter, but this is what they're offering you. They're, they're offering you something when they meet you. Here, would you like one of these? All right, let's see. Well, there's a card turned around there, but let's finish the shuffle. 
Oh, here we go again. I know there's a card turned around. I saw it. Did you guys see it? There it is. Thoughts. Thought. Oh. <laughs> Remember, I said you were just enjoying the moment. Okay? You're just enjoying the moment. Waiting for something, you know, just like life is really good. I'm just waiting for my ships to all come in. Anything else here that you would like to share with us with the Kipper cards here? Whew. Sudden wealth. That's incredible. That is incredible. Something definitely is coming your way with that karma card of the Six of Pentacles there. I, and it's going to affect both of you in a very, very beautiful way. I don't know. I'm getting combining something and it just whew, takes right off. Just it, it, I'm hearing it. It explodes. Not in like a bomb style. Just like it just blows up. Just like, whoa. Let's see if we can get a couple more messages here. Okay, past energies, okay? Yeah, you've got to release these things. You, you have to let go of this, okay? We've got one, two, three, one, two, two, three. You're heading in the right direction with that, okay? Yeah, if you start looking to the future and making some plans and doing things and getting out, you're definitely going to be feeling better. One more here. Ooh, somebody is hiding oh they're hiding their feelings okay this person may not be good at expressing their emotions okay and i'm also telling that i'm also hearing that the connection you feel with this person they feel it instantly too this is a pretty intense um connection as soon as it comes together and this person may try to keep that from you because they, they just don't even know how to express what they're feeling. They are more of an intellectual rather than a heartfelt, heart-centered person. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. This is the Gilded Reverie. We'll see what's going to come out with this deck. Then I'll go on and get you some uh, Island Time Wellness cards. Romance angel messages. This is going to be a good reading here. This, I mean, it's already a great reading, but we're going to take it to the whole new level. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay, we've got, there is definitely a female coming in here for some. I can't show this card um, on here. Okay. There's been some changes, so we have to be careful what we show on here. Um, anyways, there is definitely a strong divine feminine energy here for you, okay? So if you are seeking a female, there is definitely a female coming in. This could be you if you are a female. This could be you seeing yourself as the empress in this energy, okay? What else have we got here from the Gilded Reverie? Somebody, yeah, this person takes your heart. They have your heart, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Goes right over that. 33, we've got another two threes. Three is a big number. One, two, three, four, five. Five threes, that's incredible. Let's see what else we've got going on here. This is a beautiful reading. Don't forget to uh, like it if it's resonating with you if and uh, claim it in the comments if this has happened to you recently or if you're about to attend an event where this might happen for you. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what is going on with the cards. They just started sticking together and we didn't want to move. Okay, remember I said something about looking out over a garden. Okay, there's going to be other people around. This, this is definitely here, okay? Seven and seven, too. All right, so this is going to, most likely you're going to be at an 
an indoor outdoor event um, space something of that nature where there's other people around again i'm getting masquerade type thing role playing halloween costumes Yeah, you're building bridges, okay? You're making connections. Things are... S this is incredible, okay? Seven, again, and 11. So now we've got three sevens, like in a, a casino slot machine. Seven, seven, seven. That's a big win, okay? But you're building bridges here. And it's like doors and opportunities are going to start opening up for you. This is beautiful. You've got another 11 over here, too. I'm sure there's more going on. Whew. I'm getting dizzy just seeing it all. This is awesome. I love this for you guys. This is intriguing. I, this is kind of a different um, love read here. I, I'm almost like feel like I'm watching a movie of this happening. Sit, you sitting almost like a Cinderella story here. Okay. Now this could be you as a parent either male or female with kids okay doesn't matter but you've always been the empress that's that's pretty kind of cool right there you just need to get out your life your focus has been um all on taking care of others okay so if you don't have kids this could be about you taking care of other people and not yourself okay not focusing on taking care of yourself all right, what can you tell us here? Oh, we've got a boat. Receiving what you need. <laughs> I'm sitting there talking about how you weren't receiving, how you weren't opening, okay? Um, yeah, there's going to be progression. Things are going to be arriving. Your person is coming in here for you. I don't want to cover her up, so I'm going to put this up here. Do we have anything else here, Spirit, from the Island Wellness uh, messages oh what is up with these cards yeah look at this you need to go have some girl talk okay time with friends definitely need to go have time with friends male or female it doesn't matter go have fun with friends um you may already feel this person like in your energies okay yeah I, and I'm getting strongly that this goes here, okay? It's where you're thinking deep thoughts, okay? We've got the butterfly and a healing heart. And then we've got, okay, the healing heart is about just that, healing from relationships, heartbreak, something that was um, sad. And then we've got the butterfly, which is relationship is evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Hmm, that's funny. It doesn't feel connected to this reading at all. So there's something here that must be in the future. Maybe, the, I, I don't know, I'm not getting it, okay? I, I can make a supposition that in the future, whatever this relationship is for you, it is very healing, and it's going to continue to evolve. It's going to go into... Um, it's going to continue to grow into this big, beautiful, beautiful relationship. All right. What else have we got here? Romance angels. What would you guys like to send messages? Would you guys like to send to the viewers here? My lovely, lovely Libras or any cross watchers, anybody in this room is always welcome here. The space is always non-judgmental. It's better than planet fitness because you don't even have to work out. All right, let's see what messages the romance angels have for you. Flirt. Get out there and flirt. Have some fun. All right, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. Oh. All right, again, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. 
any other romance angel messages let your friends help you yeah there is something here about um getting out celebrating okay oh i'm actually hearing that somebody may introduce you to this person too they're oh set up can i say set up some of you have a friend who is purposely making sure that you are at this whatever because they know this other person that they know is going to be there and they're trying to set you up with this person. Okay, don't fight it because look what's coming from this. Do not fight your friends. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but you'll never know if this was the perfect match for you. If you don't, at least give it a try and you have to get yourself back out there. Okay, you have to do that. Awesome message here. Okay. Can you see this? This card's just kind of sitting on me. Soulmate. Soulmate. Told you so. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to do a soulmate read and I could not get a good, re good positive reading out of that at all. And then I just do a simple love. But I'm telling you, this relationship is going to be very beautiful for you beautiful beautiful all right oops gripped my tablecloth all right let's go ahead and see what um the angel oracles angel answers oracle cards say and we will do the dice here okay now if you don't have any questions formed yet you can pause the video come back to it when you're ready um, otherwise you can just take the messages as they come out okay First message out is big, happy changes. So if you were asking a yes or no question, absolutely yes. Big, beautiful energy here, okay? Yeah, even as far out as I've zoomed, I still can't get all my cards in here. Anything else here? Let's see. We'll do a total of four, four cards here, okay? wait and that's a gentle soft wait like um you won't have to wait long but you need to wait to find something out okay so like if you had a time frame or like should i do this they're saying just hold off a day or so okay and you'll know why and you'll know when <laughs> yeah they says yeah just look for that sign because you'll know when that'll tell you when to go ahead all right love this these messages or answers are very clear today. Not that they aren't always, but I love it when cards do that. Do you see? <laughs> These are big cards. Oh my gosh, another yes, a huge yes. This is going to be major abundance, happiness, love. But look, whoops, wrong card. Sudden wealth, okay? This is going to be a very beneficial relationship for both of you. And, oh, I said I'd take four cards. That's what we're going to end with. Okay. And, oh, I forgot to do the, uh, what should you possibly need to know about the negatives? Any negatives? I'm not taking, well, I guess I'm taking them. <laughs> I know one of you laughs at me when I do that, but it's, I, I don't want to take them in spirits like, yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh spirit usually wins <laughs> okay let's go ahead and see what negatives <laughs> might be coming out of this someone working against you behind your back don't take that too literally too much concern with sexual matters okay you are working behind yourself you're self-sabotaging this relationship over your worries about having sex with somebody you haven't even met yet so stop that Okay, whatever your concern is about sex, please stop stop worrying about it. Okay, relax, have fun, just flirt. Things will happen the way that they're meant to if you can relax and just let things flow. Okay, we have a camel, we have a dog far away, and we have an apple. Temptation is going to test you in this area, and that's that could be why you're worrying about this. Okay, and I do understand, I'm not laughing at you. I, I can vouch for the concerns over that. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize there's engagement here. Wow. You guys are really rocking this relationship thing here. 
I, I can understand this, especially if you have been, you know, had children, you haven't been involved with anybody for a while. That can be very scary for you. So I'm not laughing. I'm not downplaying it. I'm just, Spirit's asking me to suggest to you that you just relax and let things flow and happen naturally. Do not, please do not be all up in your head about that. Okay. All right. So you have a distant friend who is thinking of you and persevere and you will overcome this problem. Okay. So just hang on and don't just let it just, I'm hearing, let it flow. Okay. So you have a friend that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, this could be any friend, a family member, you know, somebody that you hung out with in your younger years. It could be anybody that you feel good about, okay? And you may be reconnecting with that person just to relax and have fun, okay? This could be the friend that ends up helping you. Maybe they're going to end up throwing the party just so that they can put you together with this person that they know will be the perfect person for you, even if you don't believe it. Okay, what else have I got for you? I've got something. Oh, the positives. Absolutely. These are the good things that you can look forward to. And yes, I keep the piles um, reversed so the good ones are facing up and the uh, not so good ones are facing down. Piles, piles, piles. So that's how I'm going to shuffle these. All right, let's finish this. Thank you. I'm being told you're climbing towards success. Okay, that's on the bottom of the deck. We will take that one. All right, basket. Recognition, reward for merit, and I'm being told that that's what happens over here. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Advice from a friend, again. Okay. Financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. There is, yeah, see, this is recognition, and then you get the reward for it. And it, some of you, it is going to be money, okay? Others of you, this is going to be um, just abundance, okay? Recognition, public recognition. I am seeing the six of... Uh, wands victory energy there okay and it does have something to do for most of you around work okay your career now this could also be once you are with this person something elevates here there is something very powerful that comes to you that brings in sudden abundance i mean you got abundance and abundance here you've got the privileged lady okay you got the emperor and the empress. We're not talking little energies here. We're talking huge, great, big energies. All right. I am being told, I asked for, oh, enchanted map. Hmm. Okay. We've got the enchanted map oracle messages. We're going to see what, why they want this. There's a special message in here, must be. Wow, it just got like really hot in here and it's been, it was chilly all day today. Okay. Field of Dreams. 21. That's another three. That's a three. <laughs> three all these threes are coming at me it's all about things working out the way that they should all right and 20 flying okay i'm going to read you both of those let's go ahead and do that quickly all right so card 20 and 21 going in the right direction moving in the right direction okay so flying it says you have the power to see things from a higher perspective if you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? 
When you soar above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. I also wanted to point out, they said point out the um, this card, getting a bird's eye view, okay? And there's a lady in the dome there. And at least one person is looking at her. So there's the message there, okay? That is there for you. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all of your hard work has paid off, and the things you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. They, I'm telling you, everything that you that's you feel like you have been putting aside, like you've been taking care of other people and you haven't had enough in return, it's all coming to you. This relationship is coming to you. The recognition on your career is coming to you. And then with this person, you're going to build something even something special okay and it just comes to you it's all coming to you let's see what the next card says field of dreams your thoughts feelings and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential this is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realized in your life great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener. Now I'm going to have to read you the gentle gardener too. Be careful about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Concentrate on your best life, regardless of the temporary outer conditions that are imposed upon you by the greater world, which has its own story to tell, okay? Do not let um, what we call rules, BS rules, um, societal rules, the way things are supposed to be. You're supposed to get married, have two kids, and, you know, and live with a person the rest of your life. That's not true, okay? So don't let those things get to you. Whatever you want for your future is what you can have, okay? You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, for your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to a great harvest to be shared with others. I mean, can you say this any more times? You will reap what you have sown. Keep that in mind. And anybody that says, oh, you're giving false hope, guess what? You reap what you have sown. If you believe this will happen for you, you're absolutely right. If you believe this will never happen for you, guess what? You're absolutely right. What you reap, you will sow. Dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to the garden of your life and experience the absolute extraordinary. I love it. I love it. Those. That's why they wanted this message out here for you. Okay, let me see if I can figure out what um, card... Or what page the general gardener is on. Oh, page four. Let's go right straight there. Okay. And we will read you this one too. This is important. I'm sorry. If you don't want to be here for this, you can leave. But this is important for some of you. Okay. Authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences too. When the spirit of place... Oh, I'm reading the wrong card. Sorry. How did I do that? There we go. I thank you. I was meant to though, so maybe I will finish that. This is important for somebody. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If this if this relates to you finding love, which this is a, a love reading, okay, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and you name it, 
you'll discover that the answers you've been seeking, you will find the answer that you are seeking. Your greatest power is in your authenticity. Just be yourself, okay? The gentle gardener says, be your own person, be a conscious co-creator. <laughs> These all tie together, I'm sorry. The gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality that you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and that ensures all that you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What is the quality of your thoughts? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world, positive or negative. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. Okay, so you've got beautiful things coming to you. You have to be in that receiving mode. You have to believe that you deserve it. You have to put positive energy out there in order to receive positive. If you're focused on the past negative things that have happened to you, you can never bring this in. You will never bring this to yourself, okay? You have to be in a positive, happy, belief, receiving mode. All right, let's do these letters. I can't believe how all three of those messages, four of those messages all tied together like that. Let's see what the uh, dice have to say. Oh, it's in between. It's kind of here and kind of there. So it's on, but it's not on. Um, I'm going to re-roll this one. Okay, we've got an R. And I heard the name Robert. I also heard Restore. Restaurant. Years. Ruth. Whoa, that flipped out of my hand backwards. Okay, what have we got? A wild. Okay, so we will re-roll that. Why don't we go ahead and do that right now? I just heard the name Vicky. Okay, we've got a Y. Yonder. Oh, it's the exact same with a twist. Okay, so you two are marrying each other. You you two are divine counterparts here. Do you see? I don't didn't even realize that I put this card in this position and it ends and encompasses all of this. That's amazing energy going through here. All right. So we've got R on top and Y here. Okay. Now I'm hearing Ryan, Ryan, T, Thomas, talk, silk, silk tie. Hmm. <laughs> Um, kite, like a K-I-T-E, kite, that may be that, oh my gosh, I just heard it as if it was a woman saying, or a man, oh my gosh, a woman saying her name, Kate, but it's coming out as kite, kite. So it sounds like a very strong Irish accent that I'm hearing there. OK, it could be just the, an accent that this person may be from, um, have a different dialect, even like from in the United States. The people up north talk completely different than the people down in the Mid-South versus the South-South. So it could be something about a, um, a different way of speaking. I did hear Laurel just as I uh, went to roll the dice. Um, Gaff, this is a specific name, G-A-F-F-E, G-A-F-F-E. I don't know, I'm saying it's a name, I'm being told it's a name, okay? Your person could be in a medical field. Somebody of importance, they're definitely, you know, somebody with, at, at the very least, they have total control over themselves, their life. But I'm getting that they have a position of power in the community. 
All right. Sam, Susan, Sly. Sly is a fox. Naughty. Whoops. That just came out, didn't it? Um, Melissa. Okay. And we have another Y, but this time it's a Z over here. And when I was looking, I heard Mrs. Gray or maybe Gray Hair. Mary. These are words that are coming out to me, okay? All right, so we have G, R, Y, T, S. Does that spell grist? Grist mill? Like a uh, flour mill? And this Y is upside down. See how this one's up and this one's down? It's like, it's the energy between the two of you. It's like yin and yang. That's exactly how that feels. And if I could actually get those two to go together, they would probably fit pretty close to a yin yang. You know what I'm trying to say. All right. All right. That's what I've got. I think that's everything. Let me check. Make sure that I'm not missing any other. We could do a whisper of love since it's a love reading. All right, we'll get one card from here. Oh, we're at 51 minutes and I think it was 15 seconds. I don't know. 51 minutes. This is a very long reading. Speak the language of love came out, okay? I'm just going to take it. And we're, we've got be in the present and dream of the future, which is exactly what you I said you would be doing when you meet this person incredible okay and this one says speak the language of love loving words have the power to change lives including your own and that's what this is all about this girl talking talking yourself up and being a positive person keeping your thoughts and energies positive okay beautiful beautiful let me quickly read to you i've got cards everywhere i've got things everywhere okay so this one, we'll do this one first, 40. All right, this says, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Avoid dwelling on things that have passed and no longer exist. That could be relationships, things you owned, whatever it is. Whatever's in the past, it's in the past. It does not exist anymore. Everyone has a past that has helped to shape who they are. This history cannot be erased. Accept the past and look forward to the future. Set goals, dream big, and create. By doing this, you will eliminate the need to revisit the past. Having a goal helps you to focus on what is important to you. Setting a goal with a one-year time frame is a simple way to live in the present. What would you like to be doing or achieving this by this time next year? Make it an attainable task and work on your dream every day. Once you have committed to your goal, you will find that you are more easily able to reach it. Work consistently toward your dream and you will make steady progress and achieve it much quicker. And I, I, I am being guided by spirit to say, if you have a relationship that did not work out, okay, we've got, a, I'm getting a strong sense of a lot of single parents here, okay, accept the other person as the other, as your children's parent. Treat them with love and respect, okay, even if they don't treat you that way, it's how you act that your kids will know. But if this is a painful relationship for you because your person has moved on for whatever reason, you need to set your goals to what you want out of a good relationship, okay? That would be how to get yourself out of this. What Write down the things that would be good for you in a good relationship. What do you want to bring into you, okay? Because I am hearing some of you don't believe any of this will happen for you. And this is what you have to do. You have to be in the present and focus on the future, okay? Or dream of the future future I should say all right work consistently towards your dream and you will make steady progress and achieve it much quicker I will hold the card up a woman sits beneath the nighttime sky the pyramids are crystal the pyramids and crystal callus behind 
A woman sits beneath the nighttime sky. The pyramids and crystal castle behind her represent ideals from the past. The structures refer to the past and the things that brought you to this point. The stars in the sky symbolize the higher power that guides you. Humans are made of the same energy that made the stars. You have a light inside you. Shine into the darkness and create your dreams. Okay? What you believe is true. Whether you believe it will happen or you don't believe it will happen, you're absolutely right. Where is the other card? Oh, I found it. So many cards on this table. Speak the language of love. Card 35. And it's funny that these came out as threes with a three in it. Okay. And this has a four in it, which four was the other number. All right. And I'm on the wrong page. Almost read you the wrong thing, which says, turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. I'm actually going to read you that one, they said. Thinking of loving moments will enable you to open your heart. Drawing on a memory of love reopens and heals your heart to receiving love. It is important to keep your heart light on and broadcast your love out into the world. Discover ways to convey extra love to each person in your life. The world is always reflecting your thoughts about yourself and those around you. If you think the world is a positive and loving place, that will be what you experience most of the time. Getting back to a place where you believed in love will bring more love back to you. A picturesque woman faces the future with a hand placed over her heart as she recalls a tender memory. <clears throat> the feathers adorning her hair are a message of love. It may be that someone or something is trying to reach out to you. Feathers may prompt you to understand that infinite people cherish you. Breathe into your heart and imagine its light as a beacon that calls to those you love. Okay. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. A positive attitude works wonders in creating more love around you. Allow yourself to really express yourself positively. Use only wholesome words, good words, when speaking to others or even about yourself. Be conscious of any language that you may use out of habit and be willing to release this to create more positive energy around you. Doing so will bring more love to you. Often, your exact words or actions won't be remembered. People tend to recall how something you said or did made them feel. Taking a moment to choose words that are more loving can have such an amazing impact on others and ourselves. Thinking about how you convey your message will have a profound and loving impact on others and yourself. Treat conversations with others as an occasion to discover something original. Don't keep bringing up the past. Consider the other person's point of view and treat them with compassion. There will be many opportunities for you to state your case or impart your point, your viewpoint. Two young people, two young Nate. Here we go again. Two young nature beings gaze lovingly at a newborn dragon sitting on a rose. Dragons may be helpful guardians as well as educators. They can help you heal the aspect of yourself that helps. It can, they, it can help you heal the aspects of yourself that keeps you in fear mode when you are communicating. The full moon behind the sprites suggests there is an opportunity to release a pattern that no longer serves you. Trust your ability to speak your truth in a loving manner. When you have to let things go, you have to let them go. You don't have to do it in anger or hate. You can let it go with love. Okay, sending out very good healing um, energies towards whoever has you're trying to release. Okay, 
Just think positive thoughts. Wish them. Tell the universe you wish th that person nothing but good. And I would like to receive nothing but good. And I'm going to focus on the good. All right. Incredible, incredible union coming here for you guys. All right. This is really, really big. Be in the receiving mode. Accept that invitation to do something or plan yourself. Okay. Don't sit back and wait for somebody to invite you to do something. Not everyone's going to have friends that are going to throw a party. Okay. Um, go do that role playing thing. Maybe that's something you used to love doing. Maybe somebody, um, there's a public community, um, Halloween party or whatever it is, go do it. Okay. Get yourself back out there. It is going to be really important for you. All right, my friends, my lovely, lovely Libras. We just crossed over one hour for this reading. Sorry about that. Let me know if it's too long. Love you. Sending you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.